Hi, I'm Miss Kristen of the Oosterhout Free Library. Do you have a pet? Well, there's a good chance, if you do, that you might have a cat or a dog. Because cats and dogs are the most popular pets in the world. Some people think that dogs are our finest friends. Others believe that cats are the perfect pets. Well, today we're going to play a little game and learn some cool scientific facts about cats and dogs. Now, while cats and dogs are the same amount of cuteness, there are some scientific differences, like who has a better nose or whose tail tells the best tale. And today we're going to answer some of those questions with this book called Cats versus Dogs. And you and your family can play a game at home by making some predictions. What is a prediction? Well, a prediction is a guess based on things that you have observed or seen. So if you have a cat or dog, or you spend some time around those animals, you may have already made some observations. Maybe you've seen a dog sniffing around like this, or a cat taking a nap. Those are observations. To play the game, you can start by drawing a picture of a cat and dog, like I did right here. There's my dog, there's my cat. I taped it to a pen, but you don't have to do that. Now, if you wanna learn how to make the same cartoon, I'll put step-by-step -step directions in the description box below. It's really easy. Now, once you and your family each have your own dog and cat, you can start the book. Then, while listening to the book, you will see some questions appear just like this. Who has better hearing, cats or dogs? You can pause and make a prediction or guess and then hold up the animal that you think has the best hearing. So if you think it's a dog who has the best hearing, you hold up the dog. If you think it's a cat, you hold up a cat. Then listen to the book and find out who the winner is. Let's get started with cats versus dogs. Written by Elizabeth Carney and published by National Geographic Kids. Whose nose knows best? Dogs and cats have super sensing powers that have been passed down from their ancestors. Powerful senses have helped them survive. Who has the best sense of smell, cats or dogs? Make your prediction. If you need time, hit pause, then press play to find out the winner. The winner is dogs. Sniff, sniff, a dog smells the air. It gets a lot more information from a whiff than we do. Dogs have about 220 million scent cells. That's twice as many as cats and 40 times more than humans. Who's got an ear for everything? A mouse scurries inside a hole in the wall. A human may not have heard a sound, but a passing cat probably did. Humans can hear up to 20,000 hertz, a measurement of how high or low a pitch sound is. Dogs can hear twice that. Who has the best sense of hearing? Make your guess. The winner is cats. While dogs can hear twice as well as a human, a cat's hearing is king. Cats can hear many sounds that humans and even dogs would never notice. Who is a pickier eater? Do you think it's cats or do you think it's dogs? Let's find out. The winner's cats. Dogs and cats usually eat pet food that's specially made for them. But in the wild, cats are carnivores. They eat only meat. Cats need five times more protein than do dogs. 
Dogs are carnivores, too, but pooches aren't as picky. In the wild, dogs and wolves sometimes snack on plant matter like grass and fruit. Communication. Who has a tattletale? Both cats and dogs show how they're feeling with their tails. When cats hold their tails straight up, they're happy to see you. A twitchy tail means a cat is ready to pounce. Cats sweep their tails from side to side when they're feeling excited or aggressive. Happy dogs wag their tails from side to side or round and round like a propeller. When dogs are scared, they tuck their tail between their legs. If dogs are unsure about something, they keep their tails low and wag them close to their bodies. Dogs hold their tails still and upright when they sense danger. This means trouble might be coming. So, who's the best at telling more tales with their tails? Let's find out. The winner is dogs. Dogs have more ways of using their tails to communicate than cats. Who do you think sleeps more, cats or dogs? Behavior. Who's the bigger sleepy head? Dogs sleep 12 hours a day on average. Older dogs or puppies might sleep more. Working breeds like boxers and collies don't need as much shed eye. Cats sleep about 18 hours a day, but unlike humans, cats sleep lightly, waking up every several minutes. And that's where the term cat nap comes from. Who's the most social? That means who has the most friends, cats or dogs? What do you think? Most dogs like to hang out with other dogs. Many dog owners take their dogs to places where they can have active social lives. Most cats are loners. In order to get along, cats usually have to be raised together. Cats might like to cuddle with their favorite humans, but they leave the pet parties to the dogs. So, who's more social? The winner is dogs. Dogs like to hang out with other dogs. Why, there's even dog parks, doggy restaurants, and even hotels just for dogs. Who makes the perfect pet? Now, this is a tough question. Who do you think it is? Who's the perfect pet? So, which animal makes the best pet? Dogs and cats have different traits that have developed over thousands of years. Your dog might chew up your favorite pair of shoes, and your cat might ignore you when you call its name. But most dogs and cats love their owners, even if they're not on their best behavior. When a cat curls up on your lap, or a dog gives you a sloppy lick of affection, you'll know who the perfect pet is, whichever one you own. The winner is a tie. Cats and dogs are both the perfect pet. The end. Did you learn something new? I sure did. Those are some pretty cool facts. And there's many more in this fun book, Cats vs. Dogs, which I hope you'll check out from the library. It's also Pet Pals Week on Page Turner Adventures. I'll put the link in the description box below. You can make crafts like a pop-up book or pet face sandwiches, or listen to a real life pet detective who gives great tips about how you can help find your pet if they were ever to get lost. I also want to tell you about how you can make your pet a star in our virtual pet show. 
If you have a pet or a stuffed animal, please send us a picture for our virtual pet show. You can email childrens at luzernlibraries.org and we'll share the picture on Facebook and in the library. Hope you had fun. We'll see you next time. Bye.